World leaders are here in New York this week for the United Nations General Assembly. Former First Lady, that would be Laura Bush, wants the spouses of those world leaders to realize they've got power too. Mrs. Bush will appear with the First Lady of Namibia at a panel discussion later today here in New York. She has worked and traveled with her part with her as part of the First Lady's initiative at the George W. Bush Institute. It urges leader spouses to use their status to improve education and health care for women and girls. Mrs. Bush is here for an interview, and we like this part, that you'll see only on CBS this morning. Very good to see you. Welcome Thanks. back. Good Mrs. morning. Bush. Good to see to you. Table. Good morning here. Well, as you pointed out in the green room, listen, you won a vote. You had a vote of only one. Before you became <laughs> right, I was elected lady. by one you man. Elected by one, per one person. Mm -hmm. And what that is part of the problem, is that, of yes. course, first ladies aren't elected. That's uh, right. So they, and in many cases, they don't have a, a really institutionalized role. In the United States, we do and have really from the beginning. So what was the process for attention. you when you were deciding what you were going to do, how you were going to use that, that office, well, how I you think, were going to use your And this is my power. advice to First Ladies, is start with what you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, I was a librarian. I was a teacher. Those were really, um, you know, important things that have to do with uh, literacy and, and what you want children and families to do together. In fact, right before September 11th, on September 8th, was the National Book Festival, the first National Book Festival that I founded. And, you know, 100,000 people came to the National Ball. There was such a difference, really, between that day and then two days later. Mrs. Bush, you point out, of course, there's no rule book. That's right. And the First Lady's not elected. Mm -hmm. But you can have enormous influence. You really can have a lot of influence. And we know that. I mean, when we look at the uh, history of the First Ladies that we've known, the ones that we've known in our lifetimes, uh, as well as the ones who go on, like Hillary Clinton did, to elected position after that as yeah. senator and then as secretary mm -hmm. of state, and now as a presidential candidate. Plus, you're usually the last person at night and the first person in the morning <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yes. to talk to the person who's making big decisions. That's right. That's right. You right. certainly have a lot of influence. <laughs> yeah. There's no doubt about it. Yes. <laughs> so what is your message to other first ladies? I mean, at least you had a mother-in-law who could sort of help That's you navigate right. I had a waters. huge advantage that no one else had because I'd watched my mother-in-law in that role itself and then just watched her all those years. And then I'd been First Lady of Texas, which was also, mm -hmm. you know, good experience for me. Mm -hmm. But Barbara Bush had a huge influence on me, just watching her and knowing she just is so natural. <laughs> yes. And I think that's what people and, really and appreciated. Yes. And, her, and in as her we have role. learned from your husband, no shrinking violence. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. What and from all of her daughters in law. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. What are you finding that most First Ladies, as they navigate these waters, what is their biggest concern as they try to figure out what to do and how to do? Well, well, my advice to them would just be come with what you know, you know, start with what you already, and many of the first ladies around the world that I know were business women already themselves or had other uh, positions and really had, can bring a lot to the, to the, their countries. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, in most cases, uh, women also want to, first ladies want to support women mm -hmm. and children, mm -hmm. and that's important as well. Uh, to uh, use their role for that. What's your proudest achievement for what you feel like you were able to achieve in the eight years in the White House? Well, that's an interesting question. I don't know if I've really thought about it. But I do think that uh, after September 11th, when the spotlight turned to Afghanistan and everyone looked and saw the way women in Afghanistan were treated by the Taliban, I think being it, able it to resonated draw... resonated with you. It resonated with me. It resonated with a lot of people. In fact, we started the U.S. Afghan Women's Council right then, and Hillary Clinton joined uh, the U.S. Afghan Women's Council. Initially. Perfect example of what a first yeah, lady can do. Exactly, achieve. and it was a way to bring um, uh, attention to, for me to bring attention to the way women were treated, and I saw it around our country. I saw that women, especially, were horrified yeah. uh, with the idea of half of the population of, of a country being left out, mm -hmm. forbidden even to walk on the streets mm -hmm. uncovered. And, and I started hearing from people around the country. One of my best friends called and she said, you know, I used to be so glad I wasn't in your shoes. Yeah. But she said, now I'm jealous because you can do something. Wow. And that's when we really had the idea to start the U.S. Afghan Women's Council. You know, before seen, Michelle, go ahead. I was going to say, we've seen Melania Trump yeah. um, out there with her husband mm -hmm. helping the victims of mm -hmm. Hurricane right. Irma and your home state, too, of, of Texas. What advice do you have for her? Well, I don't have advice for her, really. I have met her. I went to the White House for tea and 
she very nicely had the entire White House staff who are permanent, you know, the butlers and the ushers and the chef and everyone that I knew waiting in the diplomatic reception room so I could say hello to everybody, so which say was hey really again. sweet. You know, Michelle Obama had a funny line when she was leaving the White House. I'm paraphrasing. They said, what are you most looking forward to? And she said, rolling down the window or opening a window without people freaking yeah. out. When you first left the White House, what was it that you said, now I can finally do fill in the blank? What was that for you? Well, you I did everything to? I really wanted to do when I was at the White House. I went for walks on the National Mall early in the morning. Before With your the, Laura Bush face? It, yes. Yeah. And, uh, you know, a baseball cap or something with uh -huh. my friend who uh, lived there. So I really did those things. I think it's like there's a slight sigh of relief uh -huh. uh, just because you're not, you don't feel so absolutely responsible all the time. And of course, that's what the president feels. You too. know what's interesting about politics, among many things, it is how relationships can transcend mm -hmm. parties. That's when right. On the one hand, that's President right. Clinton and Bush, that's right. Bush 41. On the other hand, mm -hmm. uh, President Bush and Michelle Obama. Yeah. Uh -huh. I mean, they're friends. They are. Well, all the press, former presidents, really, and I admire that about our country. Uh, just the ads that the uh, former presidents made, the yeah. One America ads, with first about Hurricane Harvey and then also about Irma now that's um, about Florida. But to Charlie's point, they do seem to have yeah, something special. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. They, do. they like to laugh. Yeah. They something. like to laugh they and they like have a sense of humor together. It's good to see. And that's fun. Well. And George was actually the one that put his dad and Bill Clinton together when after Katrina, I think, or maybe it was after the tsunami, uh -huh. tsunami right. when he asked them to raise money. And there was that only was one, a there very was only... unlikely friendship. Yeah. And then it ended up being a yeah. friendship. Well, it's Powerful good to one. see you. You look Thanks. good. Do you feel as good as you look? I feel great. Yeah, you but look I'm awesome. here really to talk about this, about First Ladies. Yeah. So, uh, well, this we, is we our made research. A, we made yeah. the point that there is yes. real power. Yeah. yeah. Well, Thank you very much. You Thank you. So good to share all of this, too, with not just First Ladies here, but around the world. Around the world. Thank you very much. Thanks so much.